Okay, in our last video, the last videos, um, we've been playing with this machine, we've got the RAM installed, and um, <clears throat> I actually left it formatting the hard drive. So the hard drive has been formatted to the standard uh, formatting from Windows uh, 98. So we now have a C drive, which is formatted, and we have 4 gigabytes free. So, like I was saying before, we, we, we had originally used the Maxter um, <laughs> Max Blast software, but uh, for some reason there was a bit of a mess up. Probably because the CPU was overheating and it then glitched up then because it was overheating, you know, command probably went wrong somewhere, and, you know, messed up the hard drive uh, overlay somewhere along the way. And uh, then basically uh, did some did some harm. So it glitched. So anyway, let's not worry about that. Let's continue on and I'll show you what we have to do next. So the Samsung range of ATA uh, ATA slash IDE drives, CD-ROM drives that is, um, used to come with a little piece of software, and that little piece of software was called CD Setup. So it is something that makes life a hell of a lot easier when it comes to installing uh, CD-ROM drives on old DOS machines. Now, why are we doing this? Um, very, very simple. We're installing a CD-ROM driver because what we're going to do ultimately, as mentioned before, is actually transfer over the data on the CD, the Windows 98 data, over to a over to a hard drive directory called Windows 98. Now, again, why are we doing this? Very simple. If you install Windows 98 from the CD-ROM drive, that's fine. It'll work, no problem at all. Very good thing to do. But the problem with that is that if we install it from the CD-ROM drive, um, our data, w if we install something new, it's going to go asking the CD-ROM drive for that information again. So for example, if I install a new network card or a new video card, a lot of times it'll try to install the video card driver or even a standard video card driver. It'll then automatically go to the CD-ROM drive where you install it from and try to seek it for the information. And that's a pain in the bum because then you got to go get the CD and all that sort of crack. So if you have the... It's going to restart the computer now. If you have the information on the hard drive in a Windows 98 directory, it's a lot quicker because it'll always access that directory directly. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a directory on the hard drive which is going to be called Win Win 98 and uh, that'll allow us then to install the Windows directory from the directory and in the future when it comes looking for the information it can go to the directory. Now this particular machine will boot from a CD-ROM drive um, You've probably done that before. If you're watching this video, you've probably done that before. And um, probably boot from the CD-ROM drive. You, we can now do that this time around. I'll uh, I'll demonstrate the, the boot from the CD-ROM drive just to show you how it operates before we go transferring the data. So let's say, for example, we've got a brand new machine. You haven't got another machine in which to create the floppy disk. So you're looking for some way to boot up an old machine. If the machine hasn't got uh, the see here now is your answer here right so if the machine won't boot up from CD-ROM drive you can boot up from floppy disk but if you're in a situation where you're starting off out and the machine will boot from CD-ROM drive do that because you can always create a disk uh, when Windows 98 is starting over and I'll show you how to do that so start with CD-ROM drive support this will still work anyway this will still give us what we want to do so it's just scanning the whole machine this is basically a Windows setup um, this is basically allowing Windows Setup to take place. You can run Windows Setup directly from this and it'll also have no problem. It'll also format that hard drive and all the rest of it. Um, the problem there really is that, like I said before, getting drivers later on is going to be a real pain. So we're going to transfer the data from the CD-ROM drive over directly. So C drive. So MD, let's make directory. I always use cap lock. Don't have to. I just do it for clarity. Then CD, INA, then copy, and it's uh, D colon backslash WIN98 backslash uh, star dot star, that means everything, to C colon backslash, to C colon backslash WIN98 star dot star. I found it was better to, no, I didn't come in. It's better to do the star dot star because if I did this, sometimes what happens is it would just create one file called Windows 98 and try to lump everything into it. It was like a giant zip file. Um, 
So it doesn't generally glitch like that, but it's worth just sort of you know going through the same way to do it every time, you know, in every version of DOS. That way you've got consistency and the consistency work for you. This is just us transferring over the data, so nothing too exciting here. And um, you can in theory transfer all this over to floppy disk from the CD-ROM drive. I've never done that, but each one of these cab files will fit in the floppy disk. So you can in theory install Windows 98 second edition floppy floppy disk if you're really feeling at a, at a low edge, you know. Um, but I did actually install, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, here on, on YouTube, that I installed Windows 95 from floppy disk on the 38616 with uh, 4 megs of RAM. And to say it took a long time would be an underestimation. Um, it took a hell of a long time. Uh, I ended up staying up uh, all night basically to do it. Um, it was worthwhile doing, but well, it ran Windows 95, but not very well. But later on I discovered a way of doing it a lot quicker. One of the little things you can do with Windows 95, 98 and Windows 10 as well actually is you can install the operating system on system A and then transfer the hard drive over to system B and it will automatically detect everything in the way it goes. Windows 2000 sometimes will work, Windows XP will just kind of go well feck you anyway you know, on blue screen. So there are some advantages to Windows 10 boys and girls uh, even though you mightn't like it there definitely are some things in Windows 10 that I love you know and that is one of them. I have actually had a physical hard drive in a physical machine that I wanted to upgrade. So I basically had all the data on machine A which was slower, I wanted to transfer it to machine B and I literally took the hard drive of machine A, plugged it into machine B, a Windows 10 just loaded up and I was like, yeah, okay, well, I'm on this new machine, oh by the way I haven't got a license. And all I did was click on the icon, put a new license on and that was it. There was no issues because the hard drive data didn't care and it was great because it meant that I didn't have to reinstall everything again. So it's one great thing about Windows 10. Okay, we're talking about Windows 98 here. So I'm going to restart the PC again because I wanted to be booting off the hard drive, not to be booting off the CD-ROM drive. Um, take the floppy disk out of there as well. So the Windows 98 setup, um, you can leave it to run automatic or you can get it to do a custom setup. Um, we'll do a quick custom setup, why not? Um, let me see, what's this here's the drive, ah, so it's actually giving the information, so it's a Lihon drive we're actually using, 48 speed, and it's the firmware version program there, that's actually pretty good, it gives you some information about the hard drive there, so CD, WIN 98, and then SETUP, let's press enter again, we'll do a scan disk, and we're nearly up to the limit again of, of the 10 minutes. So we'll come back in our next video and we'll go through the setup of Windows 10. Um, in that we will basically we'll go through the advanced setup, why not? So I'm going to leave it here uh, at this particular window. So uh, next time we come back here um, we will be setting up Windows 98 second edition from scratch. And we go through some of the setup options that are available with Windows 98. So again, I'm glad you're watching these videos. I hope you do like the videos. If you like them, please give a thumbs up. If you don't like them, please give a thumbs down. Um, but by all means, and above all, please leave some feedback at the bottom uh, about the videos. Uh, if you like them or don't like them. And uh, thanks again for watching them. And uh, I'll see you again the next time. Bye-bye.